Hi, everybody. It's so excited to have you guys here. Um, the, on the day that I'm recording this, the weather is beautiful outside. Nice spring day, and I'm very enjoying it. And I hope the weather is the same for you guys. And I'm very excited to have you guys here joining me today. So I'm starting this series of talking with Tiffany just to kind of bring more inclusive books to children in a way that is very accessible given the current circumstances of being in a global pandemic. And these are all books that I've kind of previewed and really enjoy and I think you all will enjoy as well. And to go along with books, there are going to be optional extension activities, which I will chat about at the very end. But I hope you all enjoy and I'm happy that you're here with me. So yeah, let's get on to our first book. The first book we are going to be reading in this series is The Day You Begin, written by Jacqueline Woodson and illustrated by Rafael Lopez. It just kind of talks about starting at a new place and just kind of the feeling of unease as you don't really know anyone there and you're kind of like a stranger where everyone else is familiar. And so let's begin. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. There will be times when no one understands the way words curl from your mouth, the beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. Rigoberto, from Venezuela, your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland sound like flowers blooming the first bright notes of a song. There will be times when the words don't come, your own voice, once huge, now smaller. When the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Shayla says. These shells come from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds out a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile they look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina. Each souvenir a small triumph of a journey. Their travels going on and on. And as you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat waved as it lifted off the curb and your days spent at home caring for your little sister who made you laugh out loud and hugged you hard at nap time. You can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen to sleep. And in that room, where no one else is quite like you, you look down at your own empty hands and wonder, what good is this when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere? There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. When even your own friend Naja will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the rice beneath the meat and the kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the world. There will be times when the climbing bars are too high, the run is too fast and far. The game is the one you can never really play. I don't want him on our team. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self, steady as steel and ready, even though you don't yet know what you're ready for. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina and I spent the whole summer with my little sister, you tell the class, your voice stronger than it was a minute ago, reading books and telling stories and even though we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto said. Her name is Angelina too. And all at once, in the room where no one is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. That uh, this is the day you begin, to find the places inside, your laughter, and your lunches, your books, your travel, and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you. 
and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. And that is the end. So the extension activity for the day you began that I have planned is just kind of a little drawing activity because it's fun and it's kind of an easy way to start off. So what I was thinking about is just kind of doing a drawing. You can include yourself if you're, or if you're not a big fan of drawing people because I know I'm not good at that either and you don't have to include yourself. But just kind of draw like something that makes you unique yet it's something that you're proud of about yourself. And I will go ahead and give you an example. So this is my drawing. I have, I'm not a very big artist. It's not something that I excel at, but I've included a little face for my one cat and my five dogs. So right now I'm currently on a college campus. I do not live with my parents, but animals is something that I'm very passionate about. And I love just like the responsibility and kind of everything that comes along with having them. And so I think kind of that's just something that's unique about me is that I've always grown up with animals and just kind of surrounded by them, which is kind of inhibiting in a way because I'm not able to go for long trips or anything with my family because it would be a lot of hassle just to find someone to take care of that many animals. But at the same time, I just really enjoy the interaction that I get with them. So, yeah, you can feel free to draw yourself and you can share it with your families, share it with your friends. Um, I will be linking this video on a blog post and I will have that link down below to that. So you can feel free to share it on that as well. We just kind of include a written description of what you drew in the comments. But I look forward to seeing you again next for the next book, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Enjoy the weather if it's nice out where you are, and yeah, have a good one night.